I'm Nate Eaton here with EastIdahoNews.com chatting with Keith Morrison, a Dateline NBC correspondent. Keith, you're getting ready for a big show tomorrow night. Where are the children? You've had a long news career. How does this story compare to the others you've covered? It's nothing like any of them for you. Uh, I've been doing this for a whole long time. And, and um, you know, it stands alone. We have to uh, make sure everything is right because of any screenings, senior pictures, and deputies, people, and lawyers, et cetera, what's going on in the air. Uh, and anybody who is seeing it for the first time is, what's the word, gobs act? They're, they're amazed by this thing. It's, it's, it's a thing. I don't know what to call it yet. This story is a thing. What can people expect when they watch the show? A lot of people have been following all the details, but you guys have interviewed several folks that, that haven't spoken before. We have, and I think we've been able to uh, use, or those people have helped us cut the um, in a way that, that um, I think hasn't been done before. I think we're, we're able to kind of brief the whole story in one and, and, and uh, and, and, and you'll see sort of from beginning to end uh, everything to do with the story. There. And you guys actually got footage of Chad and Lori after we were there with you uh, when we confronted them in that parking lot, but your crews caught up with them a day or so after when they were uh, looked like headed to the beach. Well, we, we had heard that they were probably headed off the back uh, and about to fly away to Mexico. They did not do that. When we, when we eventually got to the station, we were wearing what looked like uh, beach clothes. And after, uh, after walking along with us for a while, they were running back to the hotel. Any surprises that you found in covering this story thus far? I mean, I guess every twist and turn is kind of a surprise. It, it's so disturbing. When I was reading Jeff Graybell's book, uh, and he described his uh, what's called near death experience. And it's the kind of thing one hears when, you know, when these things get get so bad. I've heard a lot. When you begin to hear those stories, you know, potentially you've got some trouble. We've uh, enjoyed working with the Dateline producers and crews and everybody behind the scene and you for the past few weeks. Uh, how common is it for you to work with local newsrooms there on the scene to, to put together a final report? We, we do work with when we can. But if I may say that this story is a superlative of that way too, because they, you and your people have been uh, absolutely wonderful. The, the relationship we have had with you guys is so helpful. So we share material, share breaks in the story, share ideas. And, you, it's been tremendous for us. The outpouring that I have heard around uh, Eastern Idaho the past week or so, that seems like all anybody wants to talk about when they come up to talk to me. And our social media and our web traffic has been just through the roof uh, from folks all over the world clicking for updates on this. Uh, so I imagine that a lot of people will be watching. It airs Friday night, 8 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. It, it's a two hour special, Where Are the Children? Keith, we were at lunch the other day and two ladies stopped you to say, one, that she listened to your podcast and two, that she watched you every week. Can you go anywhere now without someone stopping to say, do the voice or something like that? People are very, very nice. It feels like I have friends everywhere. Well, you have friends here at Eastern Idaho and uh, maybe you'll be back here to co cover the updates on this story again you can catch the dateline special friday night on nbc and then it will be posted on dateline's website after it airs thank you so much keith we'll let you get back to work